Hey guys, Lead Training with Stocks for Trade, Tim Bowen back. Want to go over, now that I've seen more and more people starting to expand and use the screener and starting to exchange uh, screens as well, just want to go over quickly how to import and export uh, screener criteria. So something that people don't always notice is we do have the ability to export as well as import screener criteria. So this is great whether you're getting uh, screeners from me, from Stocks to Trade Pro, or from other Stocks to Trade members, or even if, you know, if you're looking to send yours to someone else. So a lot of the times people don't realize that we have this export and import button down here. So I'll just bring up my quick 52 week high day scan here that I use a lot, especially looking for a gapper type plays. So once I load that, I can then hit the export button and then pick a, pick a folder. I'll just put it on my desktop and name it to 52 week hard and then save. Now that criteria is saved to my desktop. I can email that. I can, uh, you know, put it on a flash drive, whatever. I do recommend zipping up the uh, the files, compressing them, especially if you're going to email them. That way, uh, you know, virus scanners and uh, spam filters might not see them. Then this is the other thing. If you get a scanner criteria, say from uh, from us, from a fellow uh, Stacks of Trade user, you just go to the clear, and then go to import. Then I've got a folder here, I can go in there. Um, I've got my uh, pre-market low float scanner we'll bring in. You can see there STFF is the uh, file extension. Doesn't matter if you're Mac or Windows, um, whether, and you can actually move the screeners between computers this way if you wanted as well. So they're platform independent. So if I double click that, it now brings it in. One quick thing to remember is if I now close or move on, it's not saved. I, after I import, I do have to save. I'll call this my whoops, low float pre-market save. Now it's saved in my criteria. Um, now if I close and reopen the screener, there's my low float pre-market. So uh, hope this is useful, guys, and have fun exchanging screener criteria. Thanks a lot.